Hello, hello everyone. So, welcome to the uh, lecture five. So, today we are actually going to understand the ROC and AOC curves. Yes, they are quite important in the binary classification and we are going to see it today. Yes. So, I hope, uh, you know, like uh, these things uh, uh, are somewhat uh, tough to understand, but I am just going to make you uh, understand these things in a very easy manner. Okay. So, I have some uh, magic boxes. So, I will be revealing it one by one. Okay. So, let's go. Now, uh, this is the book, of course. So, here, uh, what is the meaning of ROC and AUC? So, ROC means receiver operating characteristics and AUC means um, area under the curve. So, have you uh, even uh, listened the uh, word like uh, area under the curve? It was a topic in the 12th class also. So, uh, this is the thing. We'll be seeing it uh, more deeply. So, uh, this is the uh, PPT. We are going to uh, see, uh, see it first and then we are going to code it. Okay. So, quickly, just, uh, just quickly, we are going to uh, see that what is the ROC and AOC. So, uh, like uh, uh, you have seen the ROC and AOC, um, what is the full forms? And uh, these curves look like something like this. Okay. If I zoom it, these curves uh, look like this. And let's see the applications. That is quite important, guys. Like applications in the real world. So, the, like uh, in the in doing the test and cancer screening disease prediction, it is quite important. Or mainly it is a binary classification. Like tumor, non-tumor, like uh, digit prediction, uh, disease prediction. If, or uh, cancer, non-cancer, something like that. Uh, maybe it is a fraud detection that spam, non-spam, something like that. And recommender systems. Okay, so uh, this is the this is the actual thing that I used in the real life. Now, uh, uh, in the previous videos, we have seen confusion matrix, performance matrix. So we have seen there uh, true positives, uh, uh, false positives, then true negatives and false positives. Okay, so uh, these positives is actually uh, telling us that what is the predicted value, and true means that okay, this predicted value is true. But, uh, you know, like we have predicted that it is positive, but that was false. Okay. So, this is the thing. And if you have uh, uh, not watched that video, then uh, link will be in the description. Uh, just go and watch that video. That is the simple thing. Okay. So, I hope you got these things uh, and you are familiar with these things. So, uh, this is quite easy. Now, we, we are going to talk in the ROC that uh, true positive rate. Okay, two positive rate, recall, sensitivity. It is actually the uh, true positive upon true positive plus false negative. Okay, so this is the formula, guys. Just, uh, just have a look. Okay, so this is the formula and you can calculate actually the true positive rate, false positive rate and you can actually um, make a um, ROC curve. Okay, so we'll be not going to uh, do it by hand. Okay, we'll be seeing it. So, uh, fine, we have done it. Now, uh, you can see here uh, that ROC curve is there, then all these things. So, uh, you know, like uh, sensitivity, it is called also the sensitivity, okay, uh, uh, true positive rate. So, fine. Now, we are going to actually plot, okay. So, from sklearn.matrix, import ROC curve. So, we, we are just going to do that. So, uh, I have actually written the code uh, before. So that uh, we'll be quickly uh, seeing all these things in a very easy manner. So let's see. Okay. So here, ROC curve. I hope it is visible to you. So uh, like, uh, you know, like we have defined the Y scores so that we can see that how much score it is doing on particular SGD classifier. Okay. And after that, we have actually imported directly import uh, from uh, SKLearn. Okay. So ROC curve we have imported and what we have right false positive rate, uh, true positive rate, and then results. Okay. okay. And we have got this thing. Um, after that, what uh, we are going to do, we are actually going to precision recall curve. We are also going to do this thing. Fine. Now we are, um, we are going to uh, make this plot. So the code for the pl plot is this, like main plot is this. Okay. So you can see here ROC curve is this. Okay. This is the ROC curve. And we have written the code here. Just see these things. PLT dot plot FPR, like false positive rate, then uh, true positive rate, then line width and the level. Okay. So you can see here, um, it's amazing. Okay. 
Now uh, you can see here the random classifier curve is this. Then this is one simple classifier you can see. And the threshold is 90% precision. Okay, that is the threshold. So this was the whole thing about the ROC curve. Yes, guys. So this was quite easy. Um, and why we need ROC curve? So why we need? It's just because that we want to uh, see the performance of the binary classification. Okay. So if you have any doubts remaining in this ROC curve, please write in the comments. I'll be happy to answer you. Okay, guys. Fine. Then if you are now uh, here, then you can see like area under the gun. This is going to be more easy. Just see. We can actually import the SKLearn dot matter like uh, ROC ALC curve from the SKLearn dot matrix. And we can also see the score of it. Okay. So this is the some simple score function. You can see. Now uh, let's uh, see uh, it in the code. Okay. So uh, like you can see here, the score is almost 95% or 0 0.95, you can say. So we are what we are going to do, we are actually going to compare the area under the curve between the random class forest classifier and a scholastic gradient descent. Okay. So um, what we are going to do, we are actually going to uh, import the random forest classifier. And after that, we are just going to forest classifier. We are um, taking it as a random state 42. Okay, I like we are actually seeding it. Okay, that is the thing, and we are going to predict. Okay, so uh, just you can see their y probabilities are there. So we are just going to predict, uh, cross well predict, and then uh, this is a prediction, guys. Okay, this is the predictions. So now what we are going to do that we are going to take the uh, column one values. Okay, column one values will be giving us the prediction that how much uh, the model is actually predicting. Okay. So uh, let's see some theory also. Like here you can see, like 0 0.89, 0 0.01. The first image is positive with 89% probability. And second image is negative with 99% probability. Okay. So this is the this is the thing, guys. Like uh, yeah, like if you can see that uh, 0 0.01. So 1 minus 0 0.01 is actually the 99% probability. Okay. 0 0.099. Okay, so this is the whole thing, guys. And uh, now uh, let's uh, make the curve and see that which have the more area under the curve. More area on the, uh, the more the area, it will be more accurate. Okay, so this is the thing, guys. Let's see. So uh, we have plotted this graph. You can see here. Uh, here we have seen the precision recall and threshold. And after that, what we are going to put uh, recall. Then precision, we are making a curve between the recall and precision. Like you can see here, uh, I think uh, is, it is the SGD cloud. Uh, okay, it is the actually random forest. And then after the, we are actually also putting the recall and precision for the SGD and for the random forest both, you can see. And, um, and we have just uh, written uh, X level, Y level. Then we have, uh, we have uh, written this ligand it is called the ligand, okay, and we have put it in the lower left. So this is the uh, this is the curve, guys. And by visualizing this curve, you can see that SGD is actually covering the less area. You can see here. This is the area it will be covering, but random forestry is covering the whole area. This this much area is extra. So that's why it is more better. You can see here, like F1, we we have also uh, uh, got the AOC score uh, of the uh, random forest okay so it is 99 percent okay 0 0.99 you can say okay and f1 f1 score is also there we have talked about these things uh, uh, in the previous videos i hope you have watched this video so this was the whole thing about the roc and aoc curves and it is actually uh, needed to predict that how much it is good so you can see so just write in comments that which one is good random forest or sgd in this particular case okay so guys, I hope you got some understanding about it. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe this channel and uh, meet you in the next video with the amazing contents, guys. And, and one thing more, that in the pinned comment, there will be one quiz. So uh, please go through that quiz because it is quite important to test your knowledge. You know that what we have learned. So uh, just go and uh, attend that quiz. That is quite important. And thank you so much, guys.